So today I want to have a look at um, what happened with my Prosopocoilus skirofo pupa or larva that I found uh, here some time ago. I put them into the box but without um, the surrounding material because I have seen that they have started pupating already and what I found also that they started pupating inside of these wood blocks. You know, I placed these white rotten uh, beach pieces like this in this 5 liter box and what you can see is that the larva went into the wood block from the bottom of the wood block and now she must be somewhere in here. You see here is also kind of a hole and the larva filled up the material here that she gnawed out of the wood block to close her pupil chamber. So if we go into the into this block very carefully we probably can see the larva or the pupa inside of the block. So that's nice. So I can open it like this and have a look inside. But sometimes it's difficult to find them. But because here you only see the material that the larva gnawed out of the of the wood. It's interesting that she works all through the block to find the right spot inside of this wood piece to build a pupil chamber. So we will see where it is. Now if we go carefully here, because the problem is or it would be that it's still a pupa and it would be best if it would be already a, an animal. So we come closer step by step. Let's open it carefully here and have a look whether we see it already. Not yet. So where is she? Where is the pupa and where is the animal? You see completely gnawed out. So I think could be somewhere here in this place here. Let's, oh, let's have a look. Didn't find her yet. Or here. Nope. <laughs> Now where is, where is it? Sometimes it's really hard to find and to find out where this. I hope she didn't um, escape. So let's see whether it's in here. But I, here I don't see any traces. Oh yeah, look! That was it! <laughs> and here is it. It's a male. Look! So nice. Proto Pocoilus Girafa. I put him back here into his poo poo chamber. So you will, you will see him here. <laughs> now you see what a kind of a hard work it was to see him. This, this, uh, this is a very, very typical pose for Protopokhelos Girafa holding up, and he wants to bite me, of course, because he's uh, probably a little bit angry that I took him out of his nice pupil chamber. Now you see the the pupil chamber here. It's built in a very hidden spot of this wood uh, piece. That's what you can see here too. If you if we go closer to it, you see that it's uh, in a very hidden spot here in this wood block. It built the chamber. So that's a nice male. It's not a big one. That's a small uh, male for Prosopocoilus girofo. So that's all, uh, how long is it? That's only about six and a half centimeters. They can uh, become up to 11 or even bigger. But what I do for him, I put this 
mail into this box and I prepare this box uh, as a breeding box so we we are uh, looking now for a female and this wood here is perfectly good for all your other people that you have from the Dynastina family or from Setonini that's uh, the perfect material for Rose Travers and other um, um, Dynastes, Rhinoceros, uh, Beetles too perfect or you even can add it to smaller um, look at it, beetles, if you want. So next, let's have a look. That is a real adventure to find them here inside of the material. The 15th of October, it was a poop bar, so that's difficult. This was a poop bar that should be out now, but let's have a look where it can be. So I don't, uh, I see the poop bar still in here. But I don't, uh, I don't see an animal in here. I only see the poop ball through the hole here, so I don't touch it. I just leave it like that and go to the next box. What we have here, it was a larva. It was a larva, 15th of October. Now it's a poop ball. You can see it here through. This uh, pet bottle, it's a male, it's a large male with the mandibles going down before the body, so we don't touch it too. Need some time to develop here, but we have some others to check, so there are a lot of more things to come, let's see here. So this, I don't know what it actually, actually was in there, so let's have a look. But what I can see, or the way, what you can see from outside also, is that I placed a big piece of white rotten beech wood on the top of the substrate, so we will see what happens here. And we will find out where the larva is, if it's here, if we see anything, or we don't. At the moment I don't see anything here. Uh, I see also no traces of the work of the larva, but um, could be that the larva is inside of this log, but here I have no idea where I could open the log to find a spot where the larva could be. So, oh yeah, but here, look, this is very typical. The whole material inside of the log is filled with the fresh of this of this larva. So from outside, it com it looked completely like a, just a big chunk of white rotten wood, practically untouched. But as you open it, you see it's filled with the substrate of the work of the larva in here. So we try to carefully open that and have a look what we found in here. Also look at the work that the larva did with all this wooden material. It gnawed it to pieces and um, that's what they always do and that's also the reason why the uh, flower beetles that don't gnaw into the wood like like all these look on it beetles they are the followers in the pre-eaten wood blocks from look on it beetles you often see in the second stage the larva of uh, set on it beetles eating all this material that the stack beetles left. All right. I have to be careful here that I don't, if it's still the poop but that I don't disturb it too much. Oh yeah, it's no, it's a larva, look here. But it's a nice view to see what the larva is doing now and I only want to open it very very quickly and put it back then very quickly again the larva is in the stage of pre pupa you see, you see it's a, it has a wrinkled structure on the outer skin and the pupal chamber is perfectly built already and so we don't want to disturb it anymore just clean it here a little bit and try to close it the way it was here, here. 
I think it was like that. Yeah, so like this. But that there's no opening left, and then I put it back in the same place as I found it. It means that, but I don't put back all the earthy material, so I put it back like this, cover it again, and then we only have to uh, wait in here. So you see that uh, looking for. But also Pokrovsky Rafa Pupa is a real adventure and uh, if you want you can go to the German channel I show you some more of the boxes that I open and more of the search for the Beatles uh, in the other videos too. Thanks for watching.